Good morning. Philippians chapter 3, verse 4. Talking about the Apostle Paul. Though I might have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he has whereof, he might trust in the flesh, I more. Circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as touching the law of Pharisee, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness which is in the law, blameless. Okay, so here is a man, Saul, who becomes Paul. He was Abraham. He was of the seed of Abraham, Benjamin, circumcised, eight day according to the covenant. He was perfectly proper and did right and born right in the right family and everything. He had zeal. And then he was a Pharisee, and a Pharisee was no light bread. Pharisees knew the law, had to study the law, had to memorize the law, had to do the law. No one could just walk in and say, hi, I want to be a Pharisee. Well, first of all, you had to be Jewish. So we have a man that has the, 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 the blood, the bloodline, the family line known, relating going all the way back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Benjamin. We have a man who knew the law. And he would use the law later in his ministry to try to get Jews to see the Messiah and Jesus Christ by the law that he knew. And we have a statement here in Acts chapter 9. And he fell to the earth and beheld a voice saying unto him, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? <coughs> He said, Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. Now, this time, Usher uses a date of AD 34. Paul had to know Jesus Christ, living and breathing, walking and teaching, especially when Jesus taught in the pre in, in the temple, especially when, when Jesus, woe unto you Pharisees, scribes. I mean, that would have to be probably Paul's attendance. I believe the apostle Paul to be an apostle by the, the, the requisite of apostle, you had to be baptized at John's baptism. I believe Paul was baptized by John. The Baptist. You had to see Jesus living. Paul would had great opportunity to see Paul, uh, Jesus living and hear him. And then here, Paul sees the resurrected Jesus. And he says, who art thou, Lord? Now, I will assume that Paul has heard Jesus and here a man of the family of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Benjamin. Here is a Pharisee. Nicodemus, a Pharisee ruler of the people, the Sanhedrin, came to Jesus by night. Came to the death of Jesus Christ with ointment. And this Pharisee, Saul, who has extreme anger for people following this man named Jesus. And he says to a voice that speaks out of heaven, Who art thou, Lord? You don't know? That man that's in hell in the, in the Gospel of Luke, uh, chapter 15 or 16, he says, Father Abraham, the man was of the family of Abraham, God's people. If there's any only God's people, it's the people of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
and that man was in hell burning for eternity, is in hell now, and will be in hell tomorrow, and will be in a lake of fire for all eternity as a child of Abraham. It's not what blood and what family line you're born of. You can't be born of the royalty of the, of the lions and kings and queens of England. And expecting that will get me to heaven, that don't work. Here's a man that was of the tribe of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Benjamin, the seed of the people loved and chosen by God. He doesn't even know who Jesus is. And he walked and talked and saw Jesus in Jesus' ministries. I guarantee it. Here's a man. He is a Pharisee. He knows the law. He studied the law. He memorizes the law. He did the law. He, he had trials and, and judgment of people who didn't do the law. He's killing Christians because, they're not called Christians yet, but he's killing people of Jesus Christ because the law said if they're a false prophet and teaches another God besides Jehovah, you're to kill him. He's doing the law. And he still doesn't know Jesus. Now, we know Saul will get saved, and he'll change his name to Paul. He'll become the, a great apostle of all the great apostles. That's not the message today. You can be a doctor of theology and still not know Jesus. You can be a Sunday school teacher of the highest amount of population of a church in the world and still not know Jesus. You can be a deacon and still not know Jesus. You can be a pastor, a preacher, evangelist, and still not know Jesus. You could be a preacher of preachers and evangelists of evangelists and, and who to know and what to know and shake the hands and still not know Jesus. That's the story of the apostle Paul, Saul, in Acts 9. He was the who to be who, the who, who, who. Of the right family, of the right people. Jesus said, except your, your, your righteousness exceeds the righteousness of a, of a Pharisee. And still may not know Jesus. There are People, some with the title as Christian, they're, they, they were living, living today and tomorrow as long as, as the Lord tarry. Uh, you know, uh, they got letters and titles to their names. They've got big ministry works. They even may have mega churches. They may have CDs and posters and get asked to go here and there and, and sign books and and the top 10 book lists of the Christian charts and maybe the top, you know, seller of CDs of the Christian music. And they may have the fame. They may have the celebrations. They may have the, the but they may not know Jesus. Paul did not know Jesus. And when you don't know Jesus and you've never called upon Jesus and you never trusted him by faith, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you are. You could be an actor, an actress, a, a singer, a, a president, a king, a czar, an ambassador, a, a, a preacher, a, a pastor, a, a, a CEO. And if you don't know Jesus, you're not saved. Here's a man that was all the family and all, all the religious realm. And he did not know Jesus. Let me tell you right now in closing. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. This is the man that we're talking about wrote. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scripture. <coughs> 
believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Don't trust in your family blood. Don't trust in, in your, your title of your occupation. Don't trust in how much religion you know. The question is, do you know the Lord Jesus Christ and does the Lord Jesus Christ know you? Is your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life? That's the question. 